Hello, 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 it's Inester. I'm here with another Wi-Fi battle. Before we go anywhere, please make sure to hit that like button because this new layout did take a lot of work last time and you guys really surprised me with the feedback last time. It was more than double the goal last time, so let's try to hit 10, go 10 likes this episode. But anyway, we're going to have a battle against my buddy Lemio. I know we had a battle not too long ago against him, but the biggest reason why I wanted to bring this one is because, oh my god, it was a nice close battle, so let's just hop right into it. Alright, so Lemio is issuing a challenge. The second one for this channel, and I decided to lead off with my Gonzalez. Not exactly the best choice because the Diggers D completely walls it, but thankfully he does lead off with his Kappa Gurgis. But he does switch into his Diggers B, and I did not predict this at all. I probably should have thought of this at, I don't know. I think I was really, really bad at the beginning of this game, so I had to opt out to opt and switch out to my Speed Demon, aka the Slow Bro to take this return and based on this damage I wasn't sure if A he was not max happiness or B he was not adamant but I was assuming that he wasn't max happiness because later in the battle you guys will understand but he decides to switch out I knew he wouldn't want to stay in because most diggers bees tend to be choice so I knew that he'd switch out so I opted to take the to do the thunder wave because it's honestly most useful move I got on this thing because I knew that the Empoleon probably would come in because it walls the living crap out of me. So I decided to switch out in fear of whatever I wanted to do. It was most likely wanting to go for the grass knot. So I send out my Assault Vest Zapdos to take it because, you know, Zapdos can deal with it pretty nicely. But he does get paralyzed. It doesn't matter. Wouldn't have done like anything because Zapdos is relatively light and it has a lot of special defense. So he decide, decides to switch out to his Heat more and I go for the safe Thunderbolt. Thankfully he didn't switch out his switch out into his Diggersby and I do get the Parahex so that is very unfortunate for Lemio because I'm sort of, sort of feeling bad because I just got the Paralyzed got two sets of hacks in a row for my side so I send out my Heracross completely banking that I he'd get Paralyzed again thankfully he does I, I feel bad because now that's three turns of hacks that happen against Lemio and Eh, it, it, it'll catch up to me later on in this battle. But he's in fear of me going for close combat. So he decides to switch out his Gibdo, aka his Copagrigus. I probably should have gone for the Earthquake, which was a lot safer of a move. But you live and learn. I don't want to become like taking damage. So I decide to switch right out into my Snorlax, predicting the Shadow Ball. And oh my god, this Snorlax is shiny, I don't know why. But he's decided to set up the Trick Room, which is going to be super annoying to deal with. And I completely forgot his team was a Trick Room team. So I decided to go for Yan, realizing I am now faster <laughs> than the Cafagrius, which is very surprising. But he burns me, and I now know that my Snorlax is useless, as you guys will see from this little pitiful damage. Actually, I decided to switch out, knowing that I won't do anything. I send out my speed Dimmin, <laughs> predicting like a switch out, I believe, because I knew he wouldn't want his Cafagrius to fall asleep quite yet, but he switches out into the Barathorn, which was a very smart play because it essentially walled, er, walled, ugh, walled the Snorlax to hell, so unfortunately Speed Demon does have a bad setup, but I knew that he wouldn't want to go for the Power Whip because it wouldn't do that much, so I go for the T-Wave. Now he is, I knew he was slower from the beginning just by the fact he went first, so I'm like, okay, T-Wave won't do anything, won't hurt me anymore, it'll only benefit me at this point. So I decided to switch right out after going for that pitiful Ice Beam right into my Zapdos predicting either Power Whip or um, Gyro Ball. So uh, I was not, not exactly the best play but I knew that the Power Whip was mostly coming my way. But he reveals he has the Seed Bomb and I was like, okay, okay. But I decided to opt to go for the safe Heat Wave as he sends in his Heat more. Yeah, his Heat Trend, he, not Heat more, oh my god. So the Heat Tran was able to get the Flash Fire, so his special attack, I think the special attack does increase with Flash Fire, I'm not sure. So I'm starting to get in fear of this thing, so I go over to the T-Bolt thinking that I can live one whatever I want as I get a crit. Oh my god, all the hacks are happening on my side. Essentially, Lemio has been outplaying me, but 
Hex are deciding this thing a little, not too much, but he does, he does not kill me, and I don't know why he goes for the protect here, I don't know if he knows that this Thunderbolt after leftovers will still kill him. Not sure what he's trying to plan, but he does indeed go for the protect, and I go for the Thunderbolt, and that should take out his dweeb, and there goes his lead. I think. No, I have the lead now. <laughs> Can't remember. So he sends out his Diggersby to go for the quick attack, which was super obvious, but I knew. I think he had Stealth Rock, so I knew that Zapdos wouldn't be able to live coming back in. So I let Zapdos die because I didn't want anything else to take a hit from this thing. So I sent out Gonzalez with. I was <laughs> banking that he. I was faking the HP ice. I predicted him to leave, so I just opted out to go for the. Um. I think I went for the T-Bolt, which was a very poor decision. I should have gone for the Volt Switch right here as he brought in whatever he wanted because I always need Switch Initiative. But that's poor decision making and that did pitiful damage, so I have to opt out and change to my High Dragon, which does have Fire Blast. And the moveset's still sort of wonky, I'm working on it. So he does go, I don't know what he went for, he is actually paralyzed and I, right now we were in a call, he was super pissed throughout this entire match so I felt bad but you guys will see that as I go for this fire blast I do miss the Empoleon was switched in it probably would have done a lot I'm in fear of the ice beam coming my way so I decided to switch into my Snorlax to take whatever he wanted to go for and I do believe he does go for the Scald which will do hell a lot damage with the crit Yep, the crit, and he does reveal he has a life orb set, so I'm like, oh god. I don't, not super familiar with the offensive kind of Empoleon like this, so this is going to be interesting for me, especially since I lost my Zapdos, which would have been the best counter. So I go for the Earthquake knowing that I won't be doing that much damage, I just want this, want my Snorlax to die because I want to safe switch into whatever I want, but I I think I live with like 2 HP after all this nonsense, I believe. Do I? I don't remember. I think you actually die, my bad. <laughs> no, you do live. And I go. F I decided to go for the Earthquake again, even though I knew that this thing would switch out. I don't know why. I pro it doesn't even matter because even if I decided to go for the Crunch, it would have done pitiful damage like that. Might have done like an extra 5% if that. But the leftovers definitely would have covered it up, and there goes my Snorlax, dying in vain. But eh, the Snorlax wasn't super. wasn't gonna play that much of a role now that everything that he has is paralyzed. Everything important is now paralyzed. So I send in my High Dragon, and this is where I realized I had the wrong moveset on this thing. I do not have Dark Pulse on this thing for some odd reason. So I had to go for the Fire Blast, and I do miss, which sucks, because that's two straight Fire Blasts that High Dragon decided to miss, and now the Skibdo is going to be able to do whatever he wants. He will with me, so I know that my High Dragon is now on a ticking time bomb, so that's going to be super, super annoying for me to deal with and I do believe I just missed another <laughs> fire blast so that makes that three fire blasts that I just missed so I'm starting to get really really annoyed that I'm missing all these fire blasts I'm like hit one goddamn it and finally <laughs> high dragon decides to listen does about 60 percent so I know that the next one will kill so I do believe at this point he was trying he was in the call saying just kill my coffergrigus already I need this thing to die so yeah, he goes for the Shadow Ball. I'm not going to be living another turn. Actually, I do live one more turn after I hit this Fire Blast. Make that 2 for 5, that 40% Ben Wallace free throw percentage right there. And there goes the Copper Krigus. That thing, that's actually pretty good for me. But he probably, he probably should have kept this thing alive because Trick Room really is suiting his team a lot better and going against mine a lot better. So he goes for the Diggers be quick attack and that's easily going to kill off my High Dragon. And I know that I'm going to be forced to switch into my Heracross knowing that I can most likely take one quick attack at this range. But he doesn't want his Diggers be to die that easily. He still wants a priority. So he decides to switch in his Ferrothorn as Death Fodder because he knew I'd go for the CC. 
and you guys are gonna see how instantly this Ferrothorn's gonna die. Bam! Actually, that wasn't that quick. I thought it was a lot faster. <laughs> oh well, so there goes the Ferrothorn. There goes a massive wall against me. Um, there goes. Oh god, so what just happened? Yeah, Rocky Helmet, Iron Barbs. I'm losing a lot of health because of <laughs> all these residual damaging. I had like a hundred, now I lost more than half of it. Here comes the Diggersby. I know that I won't be living another one, but nothing else really wants to be taking one of those. So I decide to leave Heracross in to die, and he does, so that's super unfortunate. I probably should have kept this thing alive for the T-Tar, but I don't. I send in my Speed Demon knowing that I can get away with whatever I want with that Diggersby stuck with um, quick attack, so he decides to switch in his Empoleon, which was very... He was hoping to get rid of me with the the lava grass knot, and my scalds don't do anything against this thing. So I am <laughs> being, I am recovering some of my HP. I decided to opt to switch out because I knew the grass knot was coming my way, and I knew Gonzalez can take at least one. So Gonzalez does opt to <laughs> take the grass knot relatively well. I guess, eh, not really, but eh, he ate it up, that's all that matters. And the life orb is starting to stack up on this Empoleon. This Empoleon's in fear of me going for the thunder move, but I thought that <laughs> the thought the better move would have been bringing in the Diggersby, but I guess Lemio's too good for that, so he decides to switch into his T-Tar, and now I'm forced into <laughs> hidden power ice, so that's super unfortunate. So I'm right here. He's like, "You better switch out. You gotta, you gotta save that, <laughs> that Gonzalez for yours for later." But he reveals that his T-Tar does not have Crunch. He actually has the Pursuit, which is gonna instantly kill my Gonzalez. So now I'm down three-one. Now <laughs> because of his very, very good prediction, I gotta tip my head on that one. He was like, "Oh, I won," and this is the point where I think that I he's like, "Oh." I'm gonna be in Esther 3-0 oh, and I see that he goes for the pursuit. It didn't do that much. So I'm like, oh, I can T-wave, I can get as much, I can maybe try to get this thing stall out the sand stream because I know that Skulls won't be doing that much. I just had to speed this up because this was an intense stall battle because I was hoping to get one turn of net parahex for myself, but I do not get that at all which was super unfortunate so as you guys will see that the skulls are barely doing anything he decides to start switching into stone edge which is doing a lot more than the pursuit which was obvious I'm I'm on I'm not super happy that he figured that out but he does not miss a single stone edge out of the five and he does not get paralyzed for all the turns that we went through all this so I don't know this is where <laughs> the hack started going his way and he starts complaining he's like stop he started complaining about how I'm trying to stall him out I'm like no I'm just trying to get something going and I do happen to stall him out long enough so I he ran out of the uh, the stone edges and I finally kill him off with that scald oh my god that took a long time he was pissed as hell after that so he decided to swing bring in his Empoleon hoping to kill me with the grass knot I go for the scald hoping I can two hit KO this thing which is true and he does indeed get paralyzed so this is where the hacks start coming in again I sort of don't like games where hacks is super important but this is a sort of coming back right now I'm down 3-0 oh, I was down 3-1 now I'm tied 1-1 so that's impressive on its own stance so there goes the Empoleon all he has left is the um uh, the Diggersby so the shiny Diggersby so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Speed Demon can Oko this thing from this range because Diggersby is somewhat bulky but not super bulky. So here comes the Earthquake. It is going to take me out to about, I don't know, a quarter. I go for the skull. I get the lucky burn because Speed Demon is clutch for this game. And right now I'm like, oh my god, I might live, I might live the next Earthquake if he does indeed go for it. And he goes for the earthquake because he's choice and I see my HP going down slowly and slowly and slowly and I do live with two HP sweet I don't know why I went for it the um, the slack off I should have gone for the um, the scald but since I did live and I did slack off I know that at this point I can win this battle it was a very very unfortunate how 
Lemio lost and due to those last two um, last two hex moments. Oh, I'm really sorry to him as I decide to slack off as he dies to his own burn. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna touch you. You're not you're not sanitary. You can go die alone and me not touch you or even try to kill you. You just die because I am too good for you. So it was a good battle, Lemio. I'm sorry that the Hex decided to go against you that badly. Um, anyways, thank you guys for 300 subscribers. It means a lot. It means a lot that you guys still trust me and like my content. The videos have been getting a lot better feedback as of, I don't know, lately. So um, make sure to comment how you sort of like this layout and leave a like if you actually like this layout and the comeback by the slow bro and this is Benny Nestor and I will see you guys later.